nature shopping. Chucky Eiffel Tower shines from anywhere out of the world. When I'm not with you, all these shiny seas don't mean a thing. Seashells hold a lot of magical energy, naturally, of course. In their most basic forms, seashells represent home and protection together. Originally, were the protective outer layer of sea creatures, and often they were the very homes that those creatures lived inside of. So they're a great representation of the outer protection around your home. nature shopping. I wanted to show you everything I got. All right in my backyard. Local shopping guys, local shopping. Look at all this lavender. Look how big these are. Huge. So like basically like I come outside and take out all of the stuff I foraged so that the bugs can kind of beat feet and get out of here before I bring my bag inside. Let all the pests kind of kind of clear those off, make sure. Probably wash some of them. I have to dry some of them to preserve them. I'm actually going to start researching now. So I'll be back guys. Another natural element that I absolutely love to work with, oranges. Oranges are very, very potent in energy, along with very common. Find oranges in any of your local grocery stores. Tangerines, blood oranges. There's so many different magical properties to each type and I love working with citrus. Really fun little fact is after we were done casting our wishes into the water, we came home and our entire home smelled like oranges. This really took us off guard. 
and I will never forget it. It was so magical. My daughter could not believe that the entire house smelled like oranges for absolutely no reason at all. A very important part of foraging for me personally, time I take resources from earth or my surroundings in nature, I like to give back. This house plant I've had for quite a while and I believe it's a bean plant. My daughter and I are going to plant this out in the wild and hope it thrives on its own as a gift back to mother nature. Take in the moment, Daddy. If you are not familiar with foraging items for personal and energetic gain, you might be asking yourself by this point in the video, what do you use these items for? I never quite found personal purpose in going out into nature and collecting strange things until I started to apply crafts personal stick outlets in my free time seems simple but can actually be quite life-changing you can keep these items for a lifetime even pass them along to friends and family members as gifts or even when you're not around anymore as mementos we like to make arts and crafts such as wands and use these as decorative wall pieces or just energetic items around your house. It's just super good for your mood and super good to have things that you created with your bare hands. You took the time to collect items from nature to put around your home and instead of just jumping on Amazon and purchasing things from the big bad rich men of the world you're doing something with purpose for yourself and that is more valuable than anyone could ever understand we enjoy pressing our flowers and framing them along with just pressing them and hiding them away in journals or books any of your items for your altar you can use these as offerings or just energetic pulls towards whatever it is that you're trying to manifest in the moment use any of your foraged items in spell work adding them to your money bowl or just setting them on your altar space is a great way to utilize your foraged items to do something organically fun and free is enough to keep me foraging for a lifetime. There's always no room
If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe to my channel. And I just want to say thank you for stopping by. If you forge items yourself and look forward to the spring like me, leave it in the comments. The types of items you enjoy collecting and share your knowledge with the community. Thanks!